We're here in the UK, Donington Racetrack. We're here to do a few challenges between the Formula E Generation 1 and Generation 2 cars, uh, so we can really put them to the test, see what the differences are. I think the drag races were, were one of the coolest challenges, but also an eye-opener for us to actually see the difference with the both cars on track, Generation 1 and Generation 2, at the same time, side by side, to so actually feel the differences between the two cars, and you can clearly see Generation 2 is, is a huge step forward. You know, I'm, I'm really good down the straight, so I, I also have a small advantage on Lucas on that side, but I think the car does most of the work. The step to Generation 2 was huge. So everything Generation 2 is better. It's safer, it's uh, quicker, the battery practically doubled the capacity inside. So all the steps have been improved. The difference of um, Generation 1 and 2 is about in lap time between three and five percent, which represents about two seconds every 60 seconds. So if the lap is one minute, uh, you can expect a two second difference. That for us is huge. The car has 25% more power, 25% more torque, has a much better aero efficiency, it has much less drag, has an intelligent brake by wire system that help us to modify the braking systems according to how the region plays out a lot of technical improvements that will make the car much faster um, and I'm sure the much more tricky and the racing much better than it has been before. Lots of golfers. In terms of performance, you know, there's a lot of things that come together that make this car so much better, nicer to drive, we have better tires, uh, we've done a step forward there. The whole dynamics and mechanical side of the car is also a step forward. Uh, all the center of gravity is lower, uh, we've got more power, we've got more range. Um, so the whole, all of these small aspects together just make the car a lot nicer as a racing driver to be in it and, and to go racing. I think with Generation 2 we're going to keep the racing super competitive, but the car now is a proper, proper racing machine. The car is extremely fast in the tight circuits that we race. It's going to be extremely interesting how you position the car, how the racing is going to play out with two levels of power. The braking distance also shift. It's going to be a whole new world of different technique you have to evolve to keep yourself competitive in the Formula E field. The Generation 1 car has always been fun to drive as well, but just because it was so hard, you know, to get on top of the, all of the system, everything was so new for us, for the teams, for the drivers. So you see the drivers making a lot of mistakes, going wide, locking up, spinning, hitting walls. Uh, and now everyone has a lot more knowledge of it. And this car, with all the extra technology that it has, I think everyone's gonna have a much better grip of the car and it's gonna be able to push harder. So we're gonna go a lot quicker around, around the lap and, uh, and everything's gonna be more natural for us racing drivers. I think the main challenge we're gonna have in season five will be the, how quickly you can adapt to these new rules, the new racing, the new technologies because of course we have plenty of test days with the car so as a driver I will know the car by heart by the time I go to the first race but the race format with two different power levels the length of the race how it's gonna play out without a pit stop how you do the strategy when do you attack when do you defend this I think uh, will be the ultimate challenge and who masters it will have the advantage to win the first championship with the new car for weekly Formula E videos, click subscribe on the left-hand side. To watch the next one, click the icon in the centre and remember to hit the like button and leave your comments down below.